that's what they're trading. Trade what? All those videos. We have to do something and we have to do it now. Who's that? I'm really good at British accents. Listen. All right, love. What you do, love? Out of all the things to lose footage for, I have to lose footage for this. This is my second time that I have to do this. Omegle. Omegle. <laughs> Video chatting service uh, internet spot. I had this idea a little while ago, and at first I said, eh, that is never gonna work because people who go on Omegle do not know how to read. I thought about it a little bit more, and I was like, <laughs> Why not try? So I did try like a week ago. I spent about 30 to 40 minutes on there. I ended up getting four book recommendations. I read one of them. Yesterday I got this inkling that said, did you, oh, I, did I delete? Did I delete the screen recording? No, I, that's not something I would do. I wouldn't do that. That's just simply not something that I would. I checked, yeah. And at first I was like, okay, fuck it. Like this must be a sign. I'm just gonna delete my whole YouTube channel. <laughs> But then I decided to flip the narrative. I thought, no, this is an opportunity to make this video better. This is an opportunity to, um... Go back on Omegle and talk to some... About books. But basically what I'm gonna do is talk to some strangers on Omegly, ask for them to give me some book recommendations, and then read those, and judge these motherfuckers. <laughs> <clears throat> are these people are fucking freaks. <laughs> Hello? Anyone? Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? What the fuck? <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's up? I'm looking for book recommendations because we both like Wait, books. What's your favorite like genre? I mean anything. Really, bitch. I love the secret history. That's one of my favorite books. Okay, then recommend me a book like something similar to that because she I don't know what to She is looking for recommendations. I'm sure. I heard like if we were villains is similar. So. I've heard that too. I haven't read it though. Do y'all have any other book recommendations? <laughs> oh, Da Vinci Code was okay. Cool, cool. Like that. Thank you. Twitterverse. No. Only someone not jerking off. <laughs> I don't want to show you my pussy. Hi. Hey, what's up? Oh, bro. You're very handsome. Thank you. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Where are you? <laughs> are you in a mall? No, I'm not. In the cafe. What? Oh, you like books as well? Yeah. Cool, do you have any book recommendations for me? Yes, you should read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover because it's amazing. What is it called? Ugly Love. Oh, by who? Colleen Hoover. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm trying to find one more. One more. Thank you for not skipping right away. No problem. <laughs> okay, can you please give me just one book recommendation, please? Like the actual book. I said oh. the show. I like that one better. Like the one with, with the blind one? Yes, the blindfold. Okay, cool. Thank you. <sighs> that was a lot. I had some nice conversations on there, I guess. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. I'm from Egypt. Wow. That's awesome. But I just went through all of that footage and picked out which books I'm going to be reading. If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, which is a book that that girl has not read. And I recommend books that I haven't read all the time, so. She also recommended The Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci Code was okay. Which is a book that I own, and I've just never read it because, honestly, 
I do not care. I'm also gonna read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, which is the book that the girl in Egypt, the, the nice girl in Egypt who I skipped and I feel bad about skipping. I just, I got what I wanted and I didn't know what else to say. I've read It Ends With Us for some other video on here. It was okay. I don't really want to read this book, but I will. And then the last one is Bird Box, like the Sandra Bullock movie. And now the people, the people are talking. I guess it started as a book. I did not know that. And that's everything. I'm almost done ugly love. I found a PDF of it on my computer. <laughs> People don't talk about this enough, how like you can just find books online and just read them. It might be like illegal and maybe a little bit unethical, <laughs> but I'm ready for this shit to be done. So I finished the books. The first one that I read was Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, which was recommended to me by the Egyptian girl in the really loud cafe. I am still really confused by that. I don't know what... <laughs> Actually, it is kind of genius what she was doing because, you know, sometimes in public when you're feeling a little bit awkward and you just kind of want to not be bothered, get on a phone with a friend, right? No one's gonna bother you. You're on the phone, you're on the phone, you're on the phone. You're on the phone. But I just don't really have that many friends. So why not just hop my ass on Omegle and pretend that I'm talking to a friend? But Ugly Love, it was my second Colleen Hoover. I liked Ugly Love better than It Ends With Us, I will say that. My thing with it, romance, I just really don't think is my vibe. I just don't care. Plus, when it does come to romance, you know, how interesting can you make some random straight white couple? Um... There's just no substance, and it seems kind of bland. And it was very, very similar to It Ends With Us, at least formulaically. You know, there was a dual timeline between one of the character's childhood and the other character's present day. I don't know. It kind of felt like I was reading the same book. I think the characters were more likable, and their relationship, I feel like, was a bit more interesting, I guess. Honestly, it's been like a week. I don't fucking remember a thing from the book. I don't even remember the characters' names. Basically, the girl, she she was like 23, a nurse. She is staying with her brother while she gets her masters and falls in love with his friend across the hall who is a pilot. There was one thing in the book that really cringed me the fuck out and it was because he was a pilot. He says, I didn't fall in love, I flew. <laughs> Other than that, I didn't hate it. I understand the appeal. I just recognize that it very obviously is not at all for me. The next one I read was Bird Box. I don't have a copy of that either because I also read it on my computer. I think if I hadn't have seen the movie and already knew what happened, I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more. But I also think that the movie was better. Or I don't know. I feel like no matter what with adaptions, whichever one you see or read first is going to be better. I don't think I've ever read a book and then watched a movie and then I thought the movie was better. I just found myself the whole time while reading it kind of just waiting for it to be over because I already knew what was going to happen. But that girl did say that she did enjoy the book more. But me, I have to say I enjoyed the movie more than the book. But because when I watched the movie, I didn't know what was going to happen. So it's really... I... I <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to just so And then the third one that I read, which was recommended by... Oh, these last two were recommended by the same girl. I feel like she was in, like, Europe. Because it was nighttime, and she had a little bit of an accent. But she recommended the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> this shit... <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny. It's just like, this shit was fucking crazy. Okay, let's start with what it says at the beginning. Okay, it says, fact. 
Seven. The Priory of Sion, which is a European secret society, is a real organization. Seven. The Vatican Prelature, known as Opus Dei, is a deeply devout Catholic sect that has been the topic of recent controversy. Why do they say it like British? Controversy due to reports of brainwashing, coercion, and dangerous practice known as corporal mortification. All descriptions of artwork, architecture, documents, and secret rituals in this novel are accurate. Now, <coughs> this book basically just takes this conspiracy. I don't know. I need the historians that are watching this. You need to tell me all about this shit in the comments right fucking now. I'm not kidding because I need to know. This shit had me gobsmacked. I'm a fan of conspiracies to an extent. I It's not like something that takes up a lot of my life or a lot of my brain space. You know, I can listen to a good conspiracy theory and be like, oh my god. There are lizards living in the moon. But the Priory of Sion was like, or is currently, a brotherhood of famous and notable men. Men like Sir Isaac Newton, Botticelli, Victor Hugo, Leonardo da Vinci. And they protect the secret of the Holy Grail. This book takes that conspiracy theory and kind of tells a fictional story around it. Basically what takes place is a scavenger hunt. I enjoyed this book so fucking much. Maybe I'm gullible, I have no fucking clue, but I just kept on being like what the shit like this is insane but at the same time it is badly written the dialogue is cringy it reminds me a lot of like an indiana jones movie is it corny is it cheesy yes but what is wrong with that nothing and overall i really enjoyed it was it good I could see it being really good on like a little airplane trip. This is like the quintessential, I need to be entertained because I'm about to go on a 10 hour flight and I just need something to like numb me. But also, what's going on with all of that? Let me know. How can I join the Priory of Scion? Is it real? Who's in it nowadays? Oh my God, the Louvre conspiracy? Like that's fucking crazy. That's crazy. Like that's like genuinely like, Hello? Like, that's genuinely mind-blowing to me. And then the last book that I read was also kind of recommended by the same girl, but she also hadn't read it. She recommended The Secret History, which is one of my favorite books. One thing that she said she's heard, and I've also heard, is that this book, If We Were Villains, is very similar to that. And I have to agree, this felt like The Secret History just changed around a little bit. It felt like plagiarism. Like, we've all written essays and papers and stuff, and we've all done the thing where the source will say, like, JFK was shot on December 9th, 1962. I don't know. If that's act if that's real, I'm gonna like if that's actually the day, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. <laughs> Um, but then you take that and in your paper or your essay you write on December 2nd, 1962, JFK was shot. That's what it felt like. And don't get me wrong, it was really good. But it was done before with way better execution. But I liked it still. I mean, it was enjoyable. I read it in one day, which I think was a good way to consume it because it's definitely very fast paced. It's like half the length of the secret history. But this is about seven friends. They are a part of this Shakespeare acting theater program program. Just like the secret history, it starts in the future where someone was murdered. Although unlike the secret history, it doesn't give away who was murdered. And then it goes back like 10 years to when they're all in school together and it just goes up towards this murder, passes the murder, blah 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 blah. I mean everything about it was great, but I just wish it wasn't so similar to the secret history. And maybe if I hadn't already heard all of the comparisons, no, I still would have read this and been like, <laughs> seems a bit familiar. Oh, and this cover, ugh, why? Why would you do that? I mean, the title is fitting because this cover is a crime. <laughs> Okay, that was everything. Thank you to the people who participated on Omegle. You didn't have a choice, and you probably don't know that this is happening, but um, hey. How y'all doing? <laughs> okay, <sighs> my back is like seizing up and I gotta piss real bad. Bye. Mm -hmm. It's like the queen.